Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. down the list of names it does look Jim as though it's going to be a 5-3-2 well it's an attempt Peter to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there if they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession and can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest it all depends on keeping their goal intact so they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end So we're up and running. Played in with accuracy. Now, can he capitalise? Ronaldo gets flagged offside. Ruben Neves. Forward it goes. Ruben Neves gets it back. Andre Silva. It's a loose ball. Oh, good. Big chance. He's delivered all right. What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Portugal have an early lead. Good start. That's been drilled forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And it's Andre Silva. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Sit forward. Bernardo Silva. Andre Silva. Bruno Fernandes gets it back. Andre Silva. And it's played forward. Ruben Diaz battles to win it back. 
Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Now a chance to break. He's off on a marauding run. That's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. He's got away, and it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Jao Cancelo goes looking. Gets the better of his man. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Going through, he's come loose. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Driving on, a real charge here. The referee's awarded a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Bernardo Silva has created one goal already. That is terrific skill. In for a header! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Andre Silva is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Ruben Nevers plays it forward. Andre Andre Silva! That's a half decent try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though. Ruben Nevers gets his foot in there. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Andre Silva. He's managed to get that all wrong. Has he found his man? Gets wrestled off the ball. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Andre Silva. Good challenge. He just stood firm. And the counter is on. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But what it still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Would you review the first half? Well, when you look at the gulf in quality, the gap should be greater, but there are higher gears to be found, so maybe we'll see that reflected. Portugal come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. is back on the way Portugal going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead they don't have to overcommit 
but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Andre Silva finds himself offside. It upfield. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Andre Silva. Portugal have it back and they can go again. Bernardo Silva. And Bernardo Silva! Well, he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Ref's been lenient here, I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Bruno Fernandes! Well, he probably expected to do a lot better considering the position he was in. And it's played forward, and once more they can't get through. Bruno Fernandes. João Cancelo. Played into the... Shapes to shoot! Oh, that was extravagant by any standard. Cristiano Ronaldo really improvised cleverly there. His quick thinking almost paid off in real style. And it's Andre Silva. Bernardo Silva. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's through, now is he in? No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Finds himself eased off the ball. Portugal really are enduring a, a frustrating spell when it comes to... And the finish! Goal! Two up now, and they are cruising. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. starting to look very comfortable well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out surely they'll manage one or the other oh super tackle they were outnumbered and under the cosh that had to be spot on and it was Bruno Fernandes and here's Andre Silva Well played, he saw that coming. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. He's gone for it! Bernardo Silva. He gets past his man. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Deflected behind for a corner kick. He 
have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Point blank header! This is enough try. I don't need to tell you he got underneath it, and there's only one place it can go. Andre Silva is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from um, from getting another. He's left his man, and a header! And in again! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, his reaction to that was ultra-sharp, Peter. His anticipation is in fine working order. another change here well he's worked so hard for his side uh, as you would expect but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit so it's no surprise just brushed off the ball there well they could break here and it's Cristiano Ronaldo well positioned to make that interception Forward it goes. Pepe drives it forward. Has a pop! Oh, he's managed to miss it. Well, that's a real shame, because it could have led to a real momentum shift. Andre Silva. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Hoists it forward. Bernardo Silva. Andre Silva. And it's played forward. Pepe gets it back. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And it's Bernardo Silva. Forward it goes. Now the counter. And that will be the final act. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.